Some landing businesses have already moved storefronts to accommodate a uh, future proposed development, what's being described as an extended stay hotel. For current businesses, it seems that new development can't come quick enough. One side of the sidewalk of Wabash Landing is full, the other empty. But West Lafayette city officials hope that could soon change. The owner of the property has talked about and even shown conceptual drawings of a four-story extended stay hotel here. This is just kind of the latest idea of what to do, but actually it kind of has some legs and actually may have a chance of becoming a reality because it lines up with what we think uh, would be a good opportunity for the center itself. The map of the landing has looked a little sparse recently. The biggest hole created when Borders closed its doors almost a year ago. It's never good when the anchor store goes under, hitting many nearby stores hard on the bottom line. When Borders went out, that was the real kicker, but uh, I, they'll fill it and I'm, I'm confident they'll get something in there. Sean Hannes of All Fired Up Pottery Studio is excited about the possibilities of a hotel moving in across the sidewalk. Just a few weeks ago, the studio moved storefronts to make room for future plans. Great. Anything that fills up the, the property around here and gets more people coming down here, it's, believe it or not, it's, it's still busy. But for others, it wasn't busy enough. We see over 100 to 200 people a day, whereas down there it could have been 10. Colette Boutique opened its new location on Chauncey Hill a few weeks ago, moving up from the landing, in part because the lease was up and in part to be closer to students. And the decision has been rewarded with double and even triple the amount of sales. I think that if that was full and, you know, a lot more businesses were there, I think we would have done a lot better down there. But it was a little quieter. City officials would like to see that change, but they're waiting to see the plans first. An interior corridor that's curved is, normally doesn't do very well, and that's what we have. Is this an opportunity to bring more people on a daily basis to the center? Yes. I think that this really does complete the the look of, of the building. As for that look of the building, currently four stories and perhaps about 100 rooms. Chandler Poole says formal plans still have to be turned in by the developer and approved by both West Lafayette officials and Area Plan Commission before any construction could begin.